fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 140. Today is January the 29th, 2021. On today's show, I have lips, I have haul, and I have knitting. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, water for me. Your craft of choice, and let's chat. How has everybody's weeks been? Mine was very good. Uh, last week, hubby's birthday. We had a really nice, quiet birthday. Um, didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Had Mexican food. I went out and got us Mexican food, so that was a lot of fun. Um, had the Littles la this last week on Monday. I had the Littles, and we had a great time. They played. And the littlest one is really starting to walk. It's so fun to see him taking lots and lots of steps. And he had a really good time. He took two naps, so it gave little man and I some alone time. And we read stories and played and watched a little bit of TV. And his vocabulary is getting so good. He's really talking a lot. And so we're so happy about that. Um, let's see what else. So Wednesday, went and took groceries to my mom this week. Had a really good time. And Mother Nature has decided that it is time now to be cold. So this last week, it's been 20 below a couple of times. Uh, according to um, Alexa, it is 11 below right now. So it's chilly, it's not as cold as what it could be, but I'm not going to complain. I just really should be in Hawaii right now. Yeah, it's like this is the first time since 99 that we haven't gone out somewhere. So it's been really strange to be here. Um, very strange, but you know, world pandemic, I guess you need to change your priorities a little bit but we're really looking forward to going next year because yeah these vaccinations better work that way we haven't gotten ours yet we're not in that age group um so but i think i finally convinced my husband to do it okay so shall i get on with the stitching i think so so let's show what i worked on for the last week and a half uh, first thing is Ashley's Roses. I still need to do a little bit more. So maybe, let's see, Saturday or Sunday, I might go ahead and do some more on here since uh, we've already gotten the lip go draws, which I forgot to pull. Um, this is what Ashley's Roses looks like. So I have worked on it quite a bit, but maybe seven hours I think I have three more hours to go and then I'll have my ten hours done on this one which is nice but I also have to work on this one because I am still have not called way up this is oh forgot to tell you all the details I don't know what's going on here Ashley's Roses is being stitched on 32 count graceful gray linen fabric. I'll pull that back out. And so this one is by Swigert. Does Swigert have the hard ones or Wichelt? Wichelt. Wichelt has the hard ones. So this is a Wichelt fabric. Okay. I'm working on Autumn Lane Designs, Dark Queen of the Sea, and I really need to get this one done. This is 32 count Charles Craft, dyed by myself, so I still have all of this to do. So I have a lot to do yet, but I'm hoping to get that finished this weekend. In fact, after I'm done talking to you, I'm going to go put that on the floor stand and I will work on that until it is caught up or until it's done since we'll be getting the new clue on Monday. Ah, my hair. So I also worked on Blue Flower Night Walked Down. And this is being stitched on 36 count smoke blue Edinburgh linen. And 
and this is by Zweigart. So I actually got quite a bit done on this one. I did this section and all of this. So I did quite a bit, several hours. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. And this one was really the one that uh, told me that I need to work on um, changing up how I'm doing whip go. So I will explain that in a little bit. Okay, and then I pulled out This one is Cooler Designs Haunted October Nights. And I am stitching this on. Ah, where's my little, let's see. Got it here somewhere. 32 Count Vintage Country Mocha Belfast. And this is also by Oswegart. So I worked up in here. Well, you can see I'm working on the haunted house. So I didn't put too much time in that, but maybe an hour or two. Oops, I gotta fix that bag. It's got a hole in it. Then I pulled out Nevermore by Lila Studio. And this one is on 32 Count Valspar Belfast by Picture This Plus. So this is the called for fabric. And the called for floss except for one because I couldn't get it. So I worked a lot on this one. So the top motif is all new. And then I started working on the bottom motif and then this motif here, so, or the bottom of that row. So I got several hours on this one, but it went really fast because um, once you knew what the pattern was, you didn't really have to look at the guide and just do it. So that's what I like about when they have repeating motifs like that. Once you get it, you can look at the other one and you can just keep on going. So that's what I did with that one. And then I worked on Feather Fairy by Mirabilia. I am working using 28 count. Let's see where did that go. Uh oh, this is 28 count Charles Craft, and I believe this is sand. And I got a lot done on her. A lot. I spent like two days. So I've got her top all done, except for, of course, the beading. And her arm is halfway done, I believe, or three quarters done. Yeah, three quarters done. And then I started working on the feathers on the bottom. So, yeah, I've got close to my 10 hours done on her already because it was two days because I just didn't want to stop stitching on her. So, I was very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. And then the last project I worked on is another Mirabilia. And this one is Queen of the Fairies. So, it's Tatiana, Queen of the Fairies. And I'm stitching this on the Call for Fabric, which was 32 Count Chestnut by Wichelt. everything here. There we go. Okay. And I got a lot accomplished on her as well. I got the top. Her arms are mostly in and I started working on her dress there. So yeah. She's actually got a face. Well, she had a face the last time you guys saw it, but now she has eyes and lips <laughs> and arms. So a lot of those holes that you see in her arms are beads because she is beaded heavily. 
So that is everything that I stitched on last week. Or the last week and a half. So, um, let me grab something over here. Purchases. Part of the purchases I did was got some um, drops from Montu 3 Stitch. So I got uh, three packages, and I think they were 30, so I got 90 of these. And they are bigger than the ones I made myself. Which are the, these are the ones I made, and these are the drops. And I like both of them. They're really good. I really like these more than I like bobbins now. So I'm, I'm happy with them. They're hard. You know, they're... Um, whoop, dropped that one. <laughs> they are a cardboard... Not quite cardboard, but not quite paper kind of board. So they're like card cardstock. That's what that reminds me of is cardstock. Um, so I got three of those, and that's twenty-one dollars because you only have to pay for the item and not shipping. So I've spent twenty-one dollars this month. That was not um, subscriptions that I already had. So I'm in my in the zone. Oops, excuse me. With uh, I'm in the zone with uh, an, uh, Stitch from Stash. I did get my first Fortnite fabrics, and I am doing the touch of gray or the gray section, and this is called Pardon Me. And it's on 32 count. Even weave is what I got, so that looks about right. I'm really happy with it. It is a smaller size. So I wanted to go ahead and get the smaller size to see what if I liked it or not. This must be a Swigart fabric because it's got the orange line in it. So that's nice. And I really like how they did it. It looks really nice. Uh, here's the other side. So I'm really happy with it and since I can't start anything new this will just have to go into the fabric stash until I can start something new and then I'll figure out what I want to do I may only do this for a couple of months because they are small um, I'm not sure yet what my plans are with the fabric of the month club um, knitting. I started a new project because I needed something easy to knit on when I'm stitching with or knitting with the girls. So let me see. I grabbed one of my books, and this is Knitting 24/7 by Veronica Avery. Veronica Avery. Okay. And I am stitching the or knitting on the pinstripe slouch hat. Out. You can see that it's gonna. It's a cute hat. I'm doing the medium size, and I'm doing it on a U.S. size two. Uh, I'm not sure what the millimeter size is because there's a couple of with the two. There's like two of them. There's a two seven five and a three, and I'm not sure which one this one is. And wow, I've already bent it. Look at that. And these needles are um, my chai goose. Huh. And I bent it. Well, anyway, I can't see that number. But here's where I'm at. So the, the rim, is, or the brim is um, garter stitch. And then pearl stitch and a slip stitch. Or not a slip stitch, but it's a different type of stitch. It's kind of like a slip stitch, but... That's where I'm at, and here's the ball of yarn, and I believe I bought this at SSK, but I can't, I, th I believe I bought this at SSK at one of the um, yarn stores that I visited, and if you don't know what SSK is, it was Super Summer Knit Together, and I've been there three times, and it's being, it's usually held, it, it's held in Nashville, Tennessee. So this yarn is Dancing Skies Knits, and it's called Suki. So, it's really pretty. 
I like it a lot. And I think it's going to look great in this hat. Because, you know, it already is looking really great with this hat. So. And it's easy. And all I have, you know, it's really easy to knit on. So I knit with on this with the girls on Wednesday night. No issues whatsoever. So, um, Whipgo. I'm just going to talk to you guys about Whipgo. I'm still going to be doing Whipgo. And this... February's Whipgo numbers were called already. Now let me grab it because I've got it here. Uh, number 20 and number 4 were called. So t number 4 was... Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, so number four is Star Stargazer. So I'll show you where I'm at on Stargazer. And this is a fabric fabric flare fabric. So here she is. That's where I'm going to be starting her at and hopefully putting 10 hours or more on her. And number 20 was Night Walk Down. <laughs> so I had already started Night Walk Down, which is fine. And that's why I decided that I'm just going to work on whatever I want to work on. Where did it go? There it is. So I will be working on Night Walk Down as well. I've already got, I would say, at least five to six hours. At least five hours on this already. So, um... I have decided not to limit myself to only working on it the month they're pulled because I want, I started, started getting the stitchy bug gone again because I was limiting myself to certain projects and that's just not good for me. I need to be able to open up all of the stitching that I have except for the pile that I'm not going to work on. So I'm going to do that instead. And if I work on it earlier, I'll write down how many I have done and then I can go back later on and say, okay, I've already done my 10 hours on that. So maybe I want to add another 10 hours. So it, it's going to all depend on where it hits and if I'm really feeling like working on it because you have all year to work on your WIPCO projects. So I think that's what I'm going to do and it's, it's working for me so far. So let's hope it continues. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, sorry this has been so rambly and misjointed and um, fiddling with my hair. It's time to cut my bangs again. Uh, hmm. Anything else? I really don't have anything else to talk about this week. I hope that you all stay safe and healthy. I hope your family stays safe and healthy. I hope that everything is going good. I hope that you have you have a great week. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.